us bugging. All right, I'm back. Now I need to get mine apart because this is going to get sandblasted. That's my boot. Get new boots for it. All right. Back to researching the lowering the possibility of lowering the 1972 Super Beetle that just recently committed to for the purchase. You know, I'm, it was all about the disc brake conversion from drum to disc and then the possibility of uh, lowering it. Well, I've been researching a lot of it and some people discuss cutting along this weld and reposition dropping this two and a half inches. And then some discuss cutting the tube here and cutting out two and a half inches, welding the tube back. And then of course your stock uh, shock insert would not fit. So that then they suggest that you get a 1980s, early 80s Sirocco insert and it's two and a half inches smaller. But the problem is, and, and another thing you have to do is it's gonna change the position of your control arms when you lower it that much. And if you use the stock sway bar, which you most likely, you know, it's going to put it in a position where you're, you're never going to get the car line. You're never, you're either your caster camber will not get them within range or toe in, throw out or both. And then they talk about that there's a company, I have it written down, that sells a one and one eighth larger diameter sway bar, toplineparts.com that is precise measurements when you lower it one to three inches it's precise measurements to put your control arms where they need to be to get your caster and camber correct but the problem is i noticed is that the uh, video i watched on youtube diy automotive i watched that guy pete and he's doing one with the ball joint that comes out at the bottom down here like that was on like what was on the uh, drums that we took off the problem with that is, is the entire tube is a different length. This is like 15 and three quarters, and the other one's much longer. I can't remember what the measurement was. It was. But um, either way, it's a completely different long, uh, length tube. So his suggestion of getting switching to the Sirocco insert doesn't apply to this particular setup. And I don't want to uh, throw this out where it's just never going to get it right. And I'd have to purchase another uh, sway bar, the additional expense, and then there's all that what if or what am I going to have to, unless I, I'm going to research some more and see if I see someone doing this one and what you do with the insert. So those are a lot of variables you really need to consider before doing something like this. So I may not lower it in the front and leave it at stock to be better safe than sorry. But I'm not gonna stick to that right now, but just to let you know where I'm at right now on this, you know, I've got it all sandblasted. I mean, I've got time to think about it because I'm still waiting on parts. These new bushings and all are gonna be coming in. So uh, I've got time to consider what my options are, but don't wanna make things worse. I'm trying to improve it, improve the appearance and the stance. But if it looks like it's too much of a headache, I mean, she wants to get she, her car back in a timely manner and enjoy it. So I may just put it back stock and just better safe than sorry. So stay tuned. All right, guys, move my stuff out of the way. Show you what I did here. These are all the parts to put the disc brakes on the 72. And as you can see, I've sandblasted everything and I'm still got to get those uh, inserts out for the shocks and order those but you know I was stalling on that because uh, deciding what I needed if there was going to be a modification but I've decided not to do that because of you know liability issues and messing with the integrity throwing off the geometry of the steering and a kit goes for four hundred fifty six hundred dollars just to lower it so Decided I'm gonna keep it the way it is. I'm gonna put the whole suspension on it the way it is with disc brakes like I intended to. Um, you see, I pushed them, I got the bushings out. I got new ones here, probably propylene 
so I wanted I chose to get red instead of black so these stand out showing that you know it was all done and all this will be painted chassis black semi gloss and my ball joint installer tool came in and of course what I expected is I was not going to get the correct diameter hopefully it works out for my sons and Mazda but anyways I'm stubborn so I uh, don't give up too easily as you can see I got the new one in there this is the other one you see when that ball joint was on there there is absolutely no lip there besides the kit this is the smallest cone and it just walks over then you got this surface for the other side of the cone so I got to looking at it and deciding what I could do so I grind it off the top as you can see on the other ball joint I grind it off this and stayed away from that and grinded this down until I got almost level with the top to where I could use this edge for my comb well then these became a problem so I put a couple notches in there so it would stay there and then as you can see what I'm getting at right there with that out of the way it was level and I managed to get it out then I get over here and forget my spots I'll turn it this way then I get over here and you get that and then it goes down well believe it or not I wasn't giving up look what it did to my allen wrench <laughs> What I did is I stuck this here, finagled my allen wrench in here across, let it sit on it, and then drove that bad boy in there. So that's good to go now. And my wife, for some reason, ordered one ball joint and not two, but uh, practice safe control arms. <laughs> All right, so that's where I'm at on that. Hey guys, it's Dalton. We're going to take a moment from one of our sponsors, the V Dub Factory. The VW Factory is a family-oriented shop that offers VW parts for a more affordable price with excellent customer service. Come down to the VW Factory in Ocala, Florida. I had Kyle go ahead and sandblast these. Two of these tires are brand new. This one and that one. Um, so I got these sandblasted on the inside and the outside for Allie. She's going to get these painted the color of the car and then i'm going to put new two two new tires on there and then i'll ha eventually have port of walls put on it so it'll be a beautiful white walled tired turquoise super beautiful as you see i have an array of stuff out here today to paint this is all for the 72 super beautiful except for one bracket for the trike these are going to be the color of the car you're going to get port of walls put on them eventually and then you know the moon bw center caps these are the uh, struts disassembled. Uh, I've got the cylinders, the inserts, or shock inserts for them on order. They're not here yet. And then one ball joint only came in. So I have the other control arm set aside because I'm gonna have to scar it all up in fresh paint. All the bushings are in. So all of this is gonna get chassis black and a uh, sway bar here, the hardware. And of course that's gonna be seafoam green. All right, now first time I'm going to get the sealer on it. It's a sealer slash primer where you just shoot your top coat right over it and a much better finish on it. All of them will get that and then the chassis black on there and then the uh, seafoam green. All right, guys, here we go with the seafoam green. Uh, the rims and the coils are getting that and then the clear and then I'll get on with the uh, other small items for the struts. It'll be chassis black. Gonna look nice. there we go look at those beautiful rims yes i think she's gonna like that and look at the coils that's gonna be nice so enclosed in black with some new shocks inserts in it and all new bushings and ball joints It'll ride like a brand new car all right now i got to get all these away from here so i can uh, paint the chassis black on the rest of the part hey guys this is g-man and yeah i've been working on a lot of bugs lately but uh as you can understand there's a lot of things going on right now with the uh covid corona rona the virus yeah i'm working on bugs but i don't intend to catch the bug um we're all gonna be coming home 
everything's going to be shut down. Got to realize that there's a reason behind this. If the hospitals get flooded with people and all the ventilators are gone and all the beds are gone, all the people that are waiting in the waiting room that are in on gurneys in the hallways and everything, they're going to die. And they have died. My son lives in Munich and he's in love with a beautiful woman and she's from Italy and they travel there constantly, you know, every two weeks or so and go visit her family. They can't go there anymore. And she's still in Munich with him and everything's fine. And and as far as I know, she doesn't know anyone that has been affected by it or died in it. I find that kind of hard to believe. And maybe things are different now, but God, when you see 4,000 people in one day die from it over there, this is serious. We all need to just realize that this is the right thing to do. We need to come home and think about complete hygiene, everything. You touch anything, you go to grocery store. How many times do you think people picked up that product, looked at it and threw it back up on the shelf? I mean, my God, unimaginable. But it is within our reach. We all can do this, so just deal with it and go home. You know, if you got a beetle, and apparently you do if you're watching me, so just go home and work on your beetle. Let's communicate through the internet. Come on. I mean, online is going to be the thing right now because everybody's going to be wanting to find something to do with their time. So let's all be thoughtful and and think about each other and, and we'll get through this. It's not the end of the world. No, but it's the end of stupidity and ignorance. Let's enlighten ourselves on really what is taking place. And don't believe everything you hear because there's a ton of propaganda going on right now. Believe me, I know I've been on four continents in this world, so I've been around the block. I have been around the block before with blockheads just like you. I don't know everything, but let's uh, be aware of what's going on and... uh, Still safe, y'all. Stay healthy. Stay away from the wash your hands. Come on, let's make it through this, guys. This is G Man, just bugging. Just a little touch on what's going on, and it's affecting me too. Y'all take care. Hey guys, it's Dalton. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a little progress video of the 72 Super Beetle that we just sold recently. Stay safe out there, guys. Like G-Man said, wash them hands, keep up that hygiene, and stay indoors. We'll get through this, guys. Have a just bugging of a day, and thanks for watching. Take care.